This is a view from my room this morning. The boys have already gone to, um, to build in this weather. I really hope they're going to be okay. We came to um, Stanley's house to have a cup of tea before the meeting and these guys were there. Um, they were just, they had a cup of tea and I think that um, Robbie's coming with us to the pastors meeting which had come down up a big hill. Have a look at this god chaser. <laughs> this is how the road is here to the church that they're building and um, there's just no way our car could have come up here. And yesterday we tried to come up and it, the wheels were just spinning. Um, it's just so muddy, eh? Yeah. Yeah, this whole area up in the mountains, when the clouds cover, we're actually in the clouds, so it looks like fog. It's actually cloud. And so when the clouds move, it just clears up like that. And um, right now where they're going to build, it's right in the cloud cover. Windy, cold, sprinkly, rainy. They, they dropped the bricks way down there because the truck couldn't come up because the mud um, was actually spinning the, the, the tires. They had to drop it down there. They're going to bring all the bricks and the dirt up. So we're going to give it a go anyway. See what we can do. Get them in their way at least. In the two days that we have. This is great. This is great. So these are the pillars. They've got to build the pillars first. And then they're going to put the roof. Yeah, top one has to go. Otherwise, you can't put the roof on. We're on a hill, man. This is. Look at that. Oh, Lord. Let's see what I have to put up with. <laughs> He's a good boy. I'll give him that. We have ordered some. It's on the way. Oh, it's coming. It's All coming. Right. It's coming. It's coming. Because right. of the road hits. We can't give it up. That's we, we, we have a problem. problem yeah. um, Leo just told me that um, <laughs> this shed, I thought it was a shed that gives supplies. This is actually where they have church. <laughs> there you go. And they feed all the people in there. They've had it for a couple of years. This is it. And so they're waiting for this to be to be um, built so that they can have finally have church inside. But look, this guy's built, he's mixing the, he's mixing the cement now. They've got to do it by hand, eh? Nice. Beautiful. So this is in where they actually have church at the moment. So it's in this little shed. Got some of our stuff here. And then we'll swing it around. So from here it's like a expanded garage. Really. Um, they have church and from here they're actually moving over to the area that we're assisting. And that's the church. So they're moving from this lot here to where we're standing over here. So it's a bit of a jump. So we're really looking forward to getting it down. Today's full on building. So they're trying to discuss it, they're trying to get it. The guy's uh, telling us this and then he tells us that and then he tells us no like you, which means tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we don't have yeah. many tomorrows. <laughs> Not too many. <laughs> we got one tomorrow. <laughs> got one tomorrow. <laughs> because of the weather. This is Stanley, by the way. This one here. Stanley is the pastor of the church. Right, day one of construction, it's um, quarter to 11, we've had about 8 teas so far in the church and uh, we're all looking at this to work out which column to work on and here are all the workers and uh, I think they, maybe I think it's too cloudy or something to, to work today. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we'll see what we can do, they're going to be mixing over there. And mixing. And mixing. mixing over there. And mixing. I don't know. I don't think it's enough cement. <laughs> They're going to be bringing up blocks from down the next suburb somewhere. And uh, yeah. we're going to start some walls here. We're going to strip some of these columns. And we're going to put some concrete in some of the newer columns at the back. And see how we go. They, they've stripped the first half. This is it. Looks alright. That would drive up a little bit of wind as well. Still it's wet, huh?
Is that good? Telling me, is that, that's the stick of plaster on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Otherwise... So he's doing that stick of plaster on it? Uh, yeah. Two stick. Otherwise, you know... Uh, uh... <laughs> Old school. Old school. <laughs> So this is um, the pastors conference. And there's Stanley on the phone just in the middle there. Leo's up there just having a chat with some of the guys. We've got Joe here about to go up front, so I'll try and get as much footage as possible from the back here and really see what happens. Do so, you remember the other Robbie? You remember? Yes. This is Stanley's dad. Yeah. Say hello to Australia. <laughs> yeah. He's an amazing runner. Right. Still running? Yes. Still run. Exercise. Yes. You're still running? Yes. So run. Yeah. Still exercise. Run PK. And five kilometers walking. Five kilometers. Run. And 1,500 uh, run second. Cycling 1,500. And 5,000 meter uh, first. Came first. Yeah. Came first. Oh, Is eight. Okay. You guys stay there. Oh. <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very good. Well done. Good. good. <laughs> right, we're about to start and the power just went out. We, we've been experiencing power power outages constantly <laughs> all morning, is that right? <laughs> all morning's been going out all morning, just on and off, on and off. Unreal. Hello everybody. Hello, no, hello, hello. hello. Reading from uh, Glorious Gospel Church in Sydney. Glorious Gospel Church, Sydney, London, Australia, London, we'll go out to the country with the blue rock. They are praying for us in this time. And uh, so good to be back again. And uh, to be uh, a blessing. We can only give what God has given us. That's, that's true of all of us. We give away what God has given us. What is real to us, we can give away. So it's so beautiful to be in your uh, part of the world. You see many familiar faces. So, Joe, you got any comments for what we had for lunch? It's the best food ever. It was pretty good. It was vegetarian. Vegetarian? What do you think about vegetarian, Robbie? I have to say, it was a pretty good vegetarian. I, I don't turn my nose at Vegeto, but... Vegetarian, but... See this, this is dosa. The, the, the dosa was amazing, the roti was amazing, the rice was amazing, vegetables were amazing. The, just the chicken and the meat, I can't comment on it because there was none. Yeah. But um, it's still it delicious, like absolutely food. delicious. And I like the banana leaf, this is banana leaf pickle. So the best place. Wrap it up. Wrap it up and the dishes are done. <laughs> <laughs> done. I'm All done. In my <laughs> right. I'll show you another part of the kitchen. Yeah, do it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Here we've got a hand washing basin there. And this is the roof of the restaurant. Come around. Oh, no. 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 Oh,
This is our third attempt up the hill. Third attempt to get up the hill? What? <laughs> We've already done a running start already once. So, so now uh, we're going so for a bigger running start. This is a bigger running starter. But the guys are going to meet us up there, might, just in case. Be. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm really going back. <laughs> going to meet us in case. They have to like just push us over the edge. Yeah, the front, the front, yeah. Yes. Success. <laughs> well, we've moved hotels. We are now at the Hope Park Hotel. Um, we've moved from the Bollywood House <laughs> to the hotel. Apparently, there's Wi-Fi, but you need to be in the lobby. Um, and this is my lock. I just want to—I want to say that this is how I lock my room. <laughs> I'm not kidding. There's my key. Look, Hope Park Hotels and Resorts, 103. Yeah, that's how you lock it. Let me show you. Let me show you the lock. So this is how you lock your room. So you, you put it on the slatch, like so. And you padlock it up like that. Amazing, huh? You want Jesus in your life? I said yes. Sadhana or Kelly Kataka, Unga, one Kile, yes, to went to buy in the Suli and the Pati Kataka, and that's a Kamar. For example, the testimony of my sister, I can see something's real there. It's important to understand these truths. I believe they become a pillar of truth in our lives. Because the Bible says in the New Testament, what God did in Christ is more powerful than what the devil did in Adam. When God resurrected Jesus, and death was defeated, sin was defeated, Jesus didn't defeat it for himself. He defeated it for us. He so when, when Adam and Eve sinned, their blood got contaminated. He was man that was dying on the cross.